Hey guys, Suburban Knight here. Um, I've had a few questions about how to de-restrict the MT-07. Now, I'm going to start off with saying it's not going to make it the full powered bike. Um, the Australian delivered Lambs legal bike has been re-sleeved down to 655ccs. So, ultimately, you're not going to be able to make it as fast as the high output bike. But, there are some things you can do. Now, uh, the first one of those things, um, as you can see, just here, here is the de-restrictor. Okay, there's a couple ways you can go about um, giving it a full throttle. As you can see, it stops there. Alright, now, the easiest thing to do would be to take this plate off. You've got two screw holes there, you disconnect these, unloop this off, okay, and you you just fucking chop it, alright. I'm going to throw some photos up of some uh, de-restrictor de plate that one of the guys in New Zealand got from a dealership. Um, I'll try and include the, the name of the dealership, I'll let you guys do the, the research on that. Um, I don't know if they've got any more available, apparently it was about 50 New Zealand dollars for that piece of metal. And uh, as you can see there, there's really not much to it. So, obviously making one is going to be a fairly easy process. You would just need to take this off. Um, basically make a template. And uh, cut out that shape. And obviously you can just copy it directly. And leave that section off. Making sure you've got your locator holes, you've got these slots here, um, and yeah, just whack that on, and that'll give you a full throttle. So you can see there that there's about maybe 60% throttle there, with that extra little bit there, giving it the last little bit. Now, obviously, doing that is not going to change the tune. Uh, either fuel or ignition. So a couple of ways um, you can you can go about that. Um, I'm just gonna sit down because my legs are sore. Check out my motherfucking burn cunts. Um, is to speak to ECU West. Uh, they've been able to crank out about 54 horsepower. Um, I'll throw some pictures and, and shit up here as I'm talking. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm unsure exactly what they've done, whether they've maximized the tune that's on the ECU already, or they've copied the high output bike's ECU bin file and basically put it on to the learner legal bike and adjusted it accordingly. Um, obviously, with that, it may not always be perfect, because every bike is different. So, you can do that. You can also add on a power commander. Uh, power commander five provides not only uh, fuel mapping, but also ignition mapping. And uh, with that as well, the fuel and gear mapping, uh, sorry, fuel and ignition mapping are selectable for the gear that you're in, uh, which can be pretty handy if you want to dial off a little bit of uh, fuel and stuff in sixth gear. Obviously the ignition uh, is going to help with uh, making more power. Um, overall, if I was to do it and money wasn't an option, I'd get ECU West to put their bin file on it and then I'd put a power commander over the top of that just to fine tune anything. Uh, the question is, is it necessary? Only you guys can answer that. Um, for now, um, over the next few days, I'm going to be taking that plate off, making up a template uh, on cardboard and then getting a piece of uh, flat steel 
bending it up or finding something that's already got that right angle bend in it and chopping it down to uh, an appropriate uh, piece that I can use. And uh, there are guys that early on had issues with TPS faults. Um, there was maybe one or two of them. Everyone else on the forums hasn't had that problem. So, I mean, I will stress this. You do any of this at your own free will. I'm not gonna be held responsible if you fry the ECU, if the cops pull you over riding a non, a modified learner bike, all of that type of shit. I am not gonna be held responsible if you fucking cut your hand off with an angle grinder as you're cutting that tab off. You do all of this at your, at your own risk. Um, you know, it's... Uh, yeah, it's one of those things that you can't buy that part for. Uh, there is no part number for it, and Yamaha won't just give you another one. So, my suggestion would be, don't just chop it. Okay, I repeat, don't just chop the throttle restrictor. Get something made up. Find one if you can. And from there, modify it to suit uh, because really um, if you ever want to sell your bike no learner rider wants to ride an unrestricted but like ride an unrestricted bike or buy one um, obviously the, the restrictions there for a reason let them make the choice okay um, so yeah that is pretty much how you're going to be able to unrestrict your MT-07. Um, if anyone's got any questions or queries, um, yeah, I mean, there's there's guys that have, have noticed a, a big boost in power in the bottom end, a little bit more in the top end. Whether you need it or don't need it, that's not what, what, what I'm doing this for. Um, people have asked, I'm showing them how to do it, and if they want to do it, it is completely up to them. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I can't think of any other things you really need to do. Um, as I said, you don't need, you do not need to remap it. Uh, it will be fine. Obviously, being able to maximize, uh, you know, the additional throttle uh, opening, you're probably going to need the minimum of a power commander. Um, bare minimum, um, obviously having uh, an exhaust and maybe opening up the throttle box uh, or the, the air box a little bit by taking the snorkel off which sits on the top. Um, take your panels off, have a look, you can see it there, it's just in front of the battery. Um, yeah, that's what you can do. Um, I'm not going to say it's going to be fucking super, like a lot much faster. You may not make any difference. You may fuck your bike. Um, it's not going to be a high output bike. I can, I'll promise you that. Um, so yeah, if you've got any questions or anything, chuck some comments down below. Uh, I'll be putting this on the MT07 uh, Australia group on Facebook. So if any MT07 riders in Australia, New Zealand, anywhere where there's a learner approved version of this bike, um, if you've got yourself a high output one, um, come down and, and uh, give us a shout out, post up your ride. Um, it's a pretty good bunch of people and uh, we're more than happy to share our experiences, show off our modifications and really, um, you know, because obviously we're the only real ones that get this bike. Um, it, it's, it's good to be able to, you know, talk with people about it. All right, so that's enough from me. Um, in closing, I can, you want to de-restrict it, you don't just chop it, all right? Uh, it's not my advice um, to do it. I would make another plate or find one. Um, and t from there, uh, you know, do it. I don't even think the UK restrictor plates you can get off eBay are that type. I haven't 
I'm not going to risk spending 150 odd dollars for it. Um, I think that's absolutely ridiculous. Um, so yeah, take it easy guys. This is Suburban Night. Peace out. And uh, yeah, ride safe. Catch ya.